हरे कृष्णा इंटेलिजेंस शोज हाउ इंटेलिजेंस इज हार्मफुल एंड हाउ हार्मफुल इंटेलिजेंस इज अबाउट सेवेंटी एट ईयर्स अगो स्मोकिंग वॉज कंसिडर्ड वेरी कूल फैशनेबल एंड इवन बेनिफिशियल it took some research by some courageous research, researching scientists to f- discover the harms of smoking and when they intellig- use their intelligence to do this research and people use their intelligence to understand that research then they started un- understanding how indulgence in smoking is harmful and then as further research was done it was understood that not only was smoking harmful but it was severely harmful so that indulgence is harmful and how harmful indulgence is that was understood through intelligence when we understood the mechanism of how smoking works to harm the lungs to wreck people's health so that's how indulgence now at least we know that smoking is harmful and that can act as a deterrent for many people when they smoke now what applies to smoking also applies to sensual indulgence in general the bhagavad gita tells us that yehi samsparsha cha bhoga dukha yonaya evate adyantavantah kaunteya nateshu ramate budhah that budhah the wise people do not indulge in sensual pleasure samsparsha cha bhoga why dukha yonaya evate because such lead to distress they end in misery they have just they have the pleasure but it's it has a beginning and the end and after that there's a lot of misery so how does this happen we need indul- intelligence to understand it indulgence at face value appears to be enjoyable uh, just as smoking just puffing out some smoke through the mouth in a stylish way looks cool enjoyable but when we use our intelligence then we understand that sensual pleasure addicts us hooks us to the sense objects and thereafter whenever those sense objects are not available we feel dissatisfied and in time because even the best sense objects can give us only little pleasure we again feel dissatisfied so when the sense object is not there when the sense object does not give us enough pleasure and when our own senses capacity to enjoy pleasure goes away then we can't enjoy the sense objects and thus we end up um, desperately craving for pleasure for that pleasure but utterly unable to gain that enjoy that pleasure and that's a state of great misery so the attachment and dependence on something which is unsatisfying is what is how sensual indulgence causes us misery and it is not just this is a mechanism by which it is how it is harmful but not just how it is harmful but how harmful it is actually it promises a little pleasure and it deprives us of eternal pleasure when we stay caught in bodily consciousness then we can't pursue spiritual consciousness we can't connect with the supreme spiritual reality krishna and thus we cannot relish lasting happiness instead we stay caught in this distressful material world going birth after birth chasing one sense object after another life after life and just getting ourselves entangled in greater and greater misery so by thus um, guiding our intelligence with bhagavad gita wisdom to understand how indulgence is harmful and how harmful indulgence is we can protect ourselves from such intelligence indulgence with our intelligence and when we use our intelligence to focus on krishna and connect with krishna by practicing bhakti yoga then that indulgence can give us the everlasting sublimely joyful taste of pure transcendence of love for krishna that is life's ultimate enjoyment and ultimate fulfillment hare krishna